So in this video, we'll be installing Docker on our Mac OS. So first we need to open a browser and just search for Docker for Mac OS. Simple, isn't it? Now we'll just click on the first link. I'll be providing all this link in the description, so you don't have to worry about it. After clicking it, we'll be greeted with this uh, two options, that Mac with Intel chip or Mac with Apple Silicon. This Apple Silicon simply means that M M1 or M2. Now, how will you know that uh, you have M1 or M2? We can simply just uh, click on this uh, Apple icon on the top left toolbar and just click on this about this Mac. So here you can see in the processor, I have this Intel i5 and the memory is 8 GB and you can find all those sort of information from this particular tab. Okay, so I have Mac, so I have Mac with Intel chip. I'll be clicking on this one, but before moving on, uh, let's just check the system requirements. This Mac with Intel chip require a Mac OS version of 11 or higher. So I, I'm currently using Ventura, which is 13 version. Again, you can find those information in about this Mac tab. Here I'm using Mac OS Ventura. And if you are using something less than the version 11, uh, they're recommending to upgrade. Okay. And you should also having be, you should also be having at least a four GB of RAM for the Docker to smoothly run. Otherwise, like uh, it will bog down your system. And there is also some incompatibility that was found between the VirtualBox and Docker. Like there is some network interface compatibility issues. So they recommend to uninstall VirtualBox. I do not have any VirtualBox installed currently on my system. So that won't be an issue. Okay. So simply we'll just click with uh, click on Mac with Intel chip and this will start downloading. By the way, I have already downloaded it, but for the sake of this video, I'll do this whole process again. After downloading it, we'll just simply need to click on this and just simply click on Docker. I can then drag and drop to the applications folder. Okay, having done that, we'll simply press command and space simultaneously to open our spotlight search and we will and we'll just search for docker application and hit enter this will open your docker desktop application you can say the user interface Here you can find all your containers that you have when all those images so by the way i'm seeing all these containers because i already have docker installed and i have ran these containers but in your case this whole uh, window will be empty if i just click on this it will only show con running containers after this you can simply close this application and your docker will be running in background by the way you can also check whether docker is running or not on in your top uh, what should i say toolbar here you have the docker desktop running you can simply click on it and it will show you status you can sign in uh, to your docker cloud or you can just change your preferences but i don't think uh, i'll be going on these things so you can restart your docker or you can pause it or maybe you can quit one other way to check if docker is installed properly is to open your terminal and just type docker and there you go you'll be getting all these uh, commands which means that docker is installed correctly also to to get the latest version or whatever version that you have installed you can just simply type this command docker dash dash version and so i'm on this 20.10.21 right i think yeah that will be it for this video i hope you learned something and i'll see you in the next video thank you